and buy and say he's a Christian. An endorser of homosexuality. That's right. That's what he says. Republican parties claim they're Christians. A parties of mixed breed of bigots. That's right. One is neither better than the other. That's right. What is the solution for them both? For them both. God. Amen. The solution for the world is obey God. Obey God. That's right. That's the solution. Glory to God for the world. That's right. What did the word of God say? Call chapter and verse again. Job chapter 21, we're at verse 13. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave. How do they feel? Therefore they say unto God. They say to God. Depart from us. Amen. That's what they say. That's the arrogance. That's right. They tell God, do what? Depart from us. Get away from me. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. We don't want to know nothing that's in your mind. Th that's right. That's right. We desire not the knowledge, the of, knowledge thy ways. of thine ways. We don't want no information that's to right. have anything to do with the Lord. That's right. That's right. That's why anything that has to do with God, mm. they get rid of it. Oh, yes. God made man. Yeah. God made a woman. Mm -hmm. Devil step in and say, Devil step in. You don't have to be a man or a woman. <laughs> That's right. Call them, call them they. They. Call them other. Yeah. Call them them. That's right. That's right. Parents are raising their children in the most stupidest way. Amen. I'm going to let my son decide. Here when he was born, you don't wipe this behind. That's right. You done had him circumcised. That's right. You done cleaned his navel. You don't know what he is by now? You don't know what he is. Amen. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Call them they. They. Call them them. Yeah. Or call them other. Other. Sick fathers, sick mothers. Sick. That's true. Sick. We're going to let the children decide what they want to be. That's what they say. You see how they oppose God? The scripture says what? Therefore they say unto God, depart they from us. They say to God. Depart from us. Get away from us. Leave us alone, Lord. For we desire not the we knowledge of thy ways. We don't want to know well, your ways. We don't want to know how you think. We don't want to know how you feel That's about right. nothing. About nothing. We don't care Hallelujah. what you say. That's right. They don't care. That's the way they was in the days of Noah. That's right. That's right. Noah preached along with Methuselah. Along Methuselah. That it was going to rain. Yeah. A message that was out of the ordinary, but yet extraordinary. That's right. God gave man, hallelujah, blessed be God, 120 years, 120 years. time for self-correction. That's right. But the people did not want to hear the message. No. And they did not want the knowledge of God's ways. That's right. As a result, they drowned. They drowned. And out of all the people in the world, think of it now, just eight. 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 Just eight. Just eight. Was saved by water. By water. That's right. All the people in the earth. Yes. Only a family. Only a family. Was saved. That's right. What do that represent? That's right. Out of all the people on earth, only the family of God. Only the family of God. It's gonna be saved. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Then they have repented of their sins. That's it. Baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. And continue steadfastly in the doctrine that God gave his apostles. Amen. God's sons and God daughters. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? They spend it, therefore they say unto God, depart therefore, from us. Chapter and verse again. Now in Job 21, and I'm at verse 14. 
Therefore, they say unto God, to God, depart from us. Why? For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. The moment you get in mind, you don't want to hear what the Bible said, you got the same attitude. That's right. Even if you don't verbally say it. Yeah. The Amen. moment the word of God Amen. is telling you to do something, you push it off and reject it. That's right. The moment God tell you how a thing should be done. Yes. And you say, I know, but uh -uh, you got the same mentality. That's right. The moment you want your way to be exalted above the divine, infallible, perfect intelligence of God. Yes. you got the same mindset. Therefore, they say unto God, depart from us. What? Depart from us. For we desire. Imagine mm -hmm. saying that to the Lord. To the Lord. That's what they say. Imagine saying to the Lord. Depart from us. Why? For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. The knowledge of God's ways. I suffer not a woman to teach, nor the use of authority over the man, but to be in sound with all subjection. Yeah. God's ways is no women preachers. That's right. That's right. They ignore that and say, no, 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 we're going to ordain every woman we can get our hands on. <laughs> that's, that's true. God's ways is I made the woman for the man. For the man. Their ways are, oh, no, he made Barney for Fred and Fred for Barney. That's right. That's right. Every time. Every time. The great God of Abraham uh -huh. established something. Yes. The wickedness in man. Yeah. Rise up. That's right. That's true. He rise up and rebel. That's right. Constantly. Constantly. Against the precepts of God, the thinking of God, the instructions of God, the order of God. That's Why? Right. Because man feels as though his way is more important, important. more precious, oh, yeah. more valuable oh, yeah. than God's ways. That's right. And man wants you to look at him first. Oh, yes. That's right. That's right. Woman wants you to look at her first. That's right. So I'm going to tell you, well, I, let's get the Bible out of it, you fool. <laughs> That's a fool. Getting the Bible out of anything. The Bible is your life. That's right. A wise person wants the Bible in everything. In everything. That's right. That's right. What did he say? Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. What did they tell God? They say unto God, depart from us. So you folk that reject the word of God, you ain't rejecting the pastor Janice. No, you're not. no, no. You're not moving me at all. No. You're telling God to depart from us. Why? For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. You don't ways. want your information. What is the almighty? Look at the arrogance. Look at the attitude of the people. What is the almighty that who, we, that who, we should who serve have, him? Yeah. Who is God? Who is God? Yeah. That we should serve him. That we should serve him. And what profit should we have? What should we gain? If we pray unto him. Well, that's something to say. That's something to say, isn't it? Amen. How did you get so high-minded? How? Woman, why you think you're that cute and that shapely? That's right. That your mind will be so disturbed. That's right. Man, because you drive a Bentley or Rolls Royce <laughs> and live in a mansion with several toilets where you can sit on one at a time and legs just dangle. <laughs> That's right. How did you get so high-minded that your mind would go this far? This far. Preachers, you allow because your church is that big. Yeah. Now you let the people pray to you. That's right. Bow to you. Yes. Wish of you. Oh, yes. Do you hear what the word of God says? What is the almighty that we should serve him? Like the house of prayer for all people. Yeah. Daddy Grace organization. Daddy Grace. Yeah. Started by a false prophet named Bishop C.M. Grace. They call him Sweet Daddy. That's yeah. true. Back in the 1930s and 40s and 50s, he had hair long like a woman, and his fingernails would be one and two inches long until they twist. Call themselves apostolic. Yeah. And uh, the women will fan him yeah. while he's sitting in the pulpit on a customized looking throne. Amen. To this day, you can pull them up on YouTube. Each false prophet leader of the organization that dies, the next leader of the organization take on the title Sweet Daddy. My Lord. So when they sing songs, they don't say God did everything for you. They say Sweet Daddy 
done everything for you. My Lord, my Lord. They don't sing, my, mine, mine, Jesus is mine. They sing, my, 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 sweet daddy is mine. My Lord. So they say, let us all stand and give praises to sweet daddy. Sweet daddy. Mm. And the women to this day want to be on each side or two on each side with fans. My Lord, my Lord. Fanny. Mm. The sweet daddy they got now, I think his name is Bailey or Bell, one of them. He one of Bell prophets. Amen. All they do through the whole service is just jump all off the band, just jump off music. No baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, no Holy Ghost speaking Holy Ghost. in tongue and don't believe it. Amen. Don't want it. Don't want it. Everything is aimed at the wish up, the sweet daddy. My Lord. You're going to realize that when sweet daddy end up in a bitter hell. Oh, yes. That's true. Now, that's a cult. No man should be wish up. That's right. That's right. No man, no man should you bow to. Oh, no. We don't bow to no man. No man. I have been to different places, and people are so glad to see me grab my hand and fill on their knees. I grab, I grab them with both hands. Get up. Get up. Why? You ain't, you ain't get me in trouble with God. No way. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I've been, that have happened in America and in foreign countries. Men drop that at their feet, grab my, grab them by the shirt like I'm going to ruffle you up. That's right. Get up. Get up. Get up. You can appreciate me, but you're going too far. <laughs> That's right. Amen. You know, God will let things happen. See what will come out of you. Yeah. Because most preachers, they ain't going to lift you up. No. If they see you down there, they're going to say, oh. <laughs> They'll start rubbing your head like you a pet dog. That's right. Pope don't never lift you up, do it? No. Pope stick out of the ring on his old dirty, stinking feet. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't want no one bowing down before me. Get up. Get, get up. I said, like the Apostle Peter, I'm a man like you. That's right. All right. They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth, and in a moment, go down to the grave. Won't be for long, you're dead. Therefore, they say unto God, depart from us. Are your, are your actions telling God this? Amen. When you push off anything you've been taught or how God told you how to do something, you're telling God to depart from you. That's and if right. you think otherwise, you're a fool and a liar. That's right. Because the Bible speaks plain. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. What? For we desire not the knowledge of thy will. I don't know. I don't want to know how God feel about this. I don't That's want something. to know what God think. That's something. Isn't that a fool? That's a fool. Yeah. That's a fool. Hmm? Amen. Listen. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? Look at the arrogance. Amen. I know people just like this. Yeah. Yeah. Many I came up with in the hood. I can go in the hood right now and see some of the same ones That's right. doing the same thing. Some died this way I came up with. Yeah. Amen. Never made a change since they've yeah. been on the planet Earth. My Lord. Still out there partying, drinking, gambling, having a big time as you big think. Time. And then the moment they die, some old lying Jerry Curl head reverend get up there and oh, he don't want to offend the family. That's right. I want to say that here we got a uh, uh, brother Michael Jones. He was a good Christian. He wasn't nothing but an alcoholic, a liar, a gambler, a joint smoker, a crack taking, a beer guzzler, a womanizer, and call it for what it is. That's right. You ever been to a funeral and by the time the preacher was done, you was wondering was you at the right place? That's right. Like, whoa, wait a minute, who are you talking about? Come on. Huh? Who are you talking about? That's not Billy. Amen. No, that's not him. That's right. Amen. Are you hearing the old man? That's right. Oh, yes. Hear me. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? What is the Almighty? That's the way the human family are. That's the way they are. Most people go to church, they're not serving God. No. They just go to socialize and whatnot. They ain't paying God word no mind. No. God word have been dwindled down to nothing more than a little storybook. That's true. That's true. 
Most people today don't look at it as something that they got to obey. No. No, no. B-I-B-L-E, the, the, the acronym. <laughs> Basic instructions before leaving earth. That's right. And that's what this book is. That's right. Instructions before you die. That's right. Hear this. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what? And what profit should we have if we what pray unto him? What should we gain if we pray to him? Though their good is not in their hand. Wait, wait, wait. Their good is not in their hands. It's not in their hands. The, the counsel of the wicked is far from me. The counsel of the ungodly or the wicked is far from me. How oft is the candle of How the wicked put out? Is the candle or the life of the wicked of put the out? Wicked that's put out. And how oft cometh their destruction upon them? Did you hear this? That's right. Yeah. All right, go back to the book of Isaiah. Everybody, all right? Oh yeah. Get back, this, viewers. Back in Isaiah chapter one, still at verse two. You that are here, get this, and you sit in judgment on yourself. That's right. Amen. Hear this. I have nourished and brought up children. Look at God. Amen. I have nourished and brought up children. And they have rebelled against me. Is that you today? Because you're so set and stuck in your silly ways. Stuck in it. That's right. Won't be for God. Won't be for long. God, take everything you have. That's yeah. Right. Everything. Everything. Right. Hear this. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox. Look at God making a comparison. Yeah. Yeah. The ox. The ox knoweth his owner. Know his owner. And the ass is master's crib. The ass is master's crib. But Israel but doeth Israel, not know. But Israel. But Israel doeth not know. Don't know. My people doeth not consider. They don't even consider. Ah, sinful nation. Wait a minute. Mm. What are they? Ah, sinful nation. How bad are they, Williams? A people laden a with iniquity. Loaded with iniquity. A seed of evildoers. What? A seed of evildoers. Look at here. Come on, James. That's a true. seed of evildoers. A seed of evildoers. offspring of wickedness. That's right. And if you look at the streets of America and the world, the world. truly, a seed of evildoers. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Does it matter of their profession? A no. seed of evil doers. A seed of evil doers. Like those five police officers. Four or five murdered that young fellow there in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Seed of evil doers. Seed of evil doers. It ain't got nothing to do with color. It got to do with what's in them. That's right. Just a seed of evil doers. That's right. Black do it, white do it, yellow do it, brown do it. A seed of evil doers. Seed of evil doers. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Ah, sinful nation. Ah, sinful a nation. A nation of sinners. A people laden with iniquity. Loaded with iniquity. With iniquity. A seed of evildoers. A offspring yeah. of evildoers. Children that are corruptors. Children that are what? Children that are corruptors. Look at. Yeah. That's what they are. Children ten years old are corrupt. A eight year old. Yes, they will. Ten years old, and smoking. Children. Yeah. Children. You parents got your ashtrays in your home. Father and mother didn't put the cigarette all the way out. You just left it there burning and hear your eight-year-old child. Eight-year-old. Learn how to smoke right in your house. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Some of these sick mothers, the moment their daughter turns 16, they give her that sweet 16 party. A party. They're like a strip tease for little minor whores. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Many of you parents, they put on a gown, a little crown, then let the boys come over and give them. And these are parents will serve them beer. These are, that's right. Serve them beer and cigarettes and sit out there and party and st let her little boyfriend yeah. spend the night. That's right. Yeah. That's right. A seed of what? A seed of evildoers. These are so-called Christians. That's true. So-called Christians. That's right. Christians. That's why they hate Pastor Jennings. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because they know they pastor ain't preaching now. No. Oh, no. They hate, they, they, they hate me. God knows. I'm like that big, thick thumbtack. Every time you sit down, you can't get comfortable in that chair. That's right. Because pierce 
It pierces you. It'll pierce you. I don't care how you position them hips. <laughs> That's right. They just keep jabbing at you. That's right. The Lord is coming. Amen. And the world ain't getting no better either. No. And they want me to lighten up. Oh, yes. Oh, no. They want me to lighten up. Lighten they want up. me to be a cotton candy giver. Okay. Yes, they do. You want a cotton candy, you better go to the circus or go to the market or just go back to the false church you came from. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Ah, uh, sinful nation. Ah, uh, sinful nation. Are people laden Are with people iniquity? Loaded with iniquity. With, with, look at Putin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Loaded with iniquity. Yeah. Loaded. Loaded with it. Just shoot bombs on apartments and on hospitals. That's right. Killing babies, killing mothers. That's right. That's right. Russian troops going through different villages. Yeah. Raping the women. Oh, yes. Raping the girls. Yeah. And then killing them. That's yeah. right. That's true. That's right. In America, you can't say nothing. No. Okay. Because many of your actions is just as equal to Russia actions. That's true. You have murdered. You have raped. That's true. You criticize countries for chemical warfare, yet you killed your own with chemical warfare. That's right. There's many Vietnam troops now. Yeah. Still all messed up for that chemical Asian orange. Oh, yeah. And they call it friendly fire. Listen, man, friendly you fire. shoot me, I'm dead. My enemy shoot me, I'm dead. Still dead. What's so friendly about your fire? <laughs> That's right. I'm just as dead. Just as dead. And nothing friendly about your fire. That's right. Amen. All right, listen to the old man. Oh, yeah. Ah, sinful nation. Ah, sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. A people loaded. With iniquity. With iniquity. A seed of evildoers. A seed of evildoers. Children that are Children corruptors. Children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. What made them such corruptors? They have forsaken the Lord. What made them so corrupt? They have forsaken the Lord. Viewers and you that are here. Yes. You're either with God or you're not. Or you're not. Right. Is that the truth? That's right. You're with God. Yeah. Or you're not. Or you're not. Right. Hallelujah. You're either on the Lord's side. That's right. Or on the side of Satan. That's right. You get someone that's on the Lord's side and someone that's on Satan's side, they're going to fight all the time. Yes, they will. It's like a person who always look at scriptures from a thing and then you got someone else always look at things from their opinion. They're going to always fight. That's right. You get a woman that look at things from the scripture and a man that look at things from his opinion, they're going to war all the time. War. That's right. There ain't never going to be no peace. No. You know why? God ain't going to let it be no peace. That's right. That's right. Because God says you can't get sweet and bitter water That's from right. the same fountain. That's right. And if God said it to look for peace, it's hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy. When the carnal mind and the spiritual mind come together, it gots to be war. For they that are after the flesh. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8, and they I that first, are after the flesh, I'm doing mine the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit. But what? The things of the spirit. To be carnal mind. Is death. Spiritual mind. Life and peace. Why? Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Enmity. Right. And as a result of it being enmity, what else is it? For it is not it's subject. not submissive. To the law of God. How bad? Neither indeed can be. And don't want to be. So then they that are in the flesh. They that are in the flesh. Cannot please God. That's right. Amen. Anyone that's leaning towards God, the others leaning towards their feeling and all that, you're going to fight every gonna chance fight. you get. Oh, yeah. And if you think peace going to come out of that, God got to God got to change that book for peace to come out of that. <laughs> That's right. And he ain't doing it. No. No way. He ain't doing it. Oh, no. Are you listening? Back in Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 4. You let that man start to change and get ready to walk with God. <laughs> right. That's right. He going to end up losing girlfriend if she don't want to be right. That's right. She going to cuss him out. That's, That's right. right. Mama and father may turn on him. Yep. Amen. His twin brother. Now, as long as he out there in the world, they they they, they fine. Fine. 
Now no more clubbing, no more going to parties, no more going to the casino. <laughs> That's right. He go back home now, throw out all his liquor. Tell his girlfriend, look, you got to get your clothes together and move. What? What? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't got nowhere to go. That's not my problem. Come on, <laughs> Come on. Go back home to your mama. Go back home. <laughs> you throwing me out over something, Jesus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus stays. You got to go. You got to go. Yes. Hallelujah. All right. That's right. Jesus stay, you got to go. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Trouble will step in his life that he never had before. Yes, it will. All because. That's true. Trouble have came my direction that I never would have had if I wasn't Pastor Jennings. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God, but I'm, I'll face it with the last breath of my body. And when I say I don't care who or what I got to lose in the process, God have prepared me to lose it. That's wonderful, brother. Years ago, he had, That's right. he had prepared me to lose it. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. That's wonderful. Kevin, pe people will never understand what God done to me. Not just for me, but to me. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hear this. Our sinful nation. Ah. Sinful nation. A people, A people laden with iniquity. Loaded. Yes. With iniquity. A seed of evildoers. A seed uh -huh. of evildoers. Children that are corrupted. Children that are corrupted. They have forsaken the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 13, 14, 15, 11, 10, 9, 8, walking around with guns and you know, guns. Carjacking, holding people up, burglarizing homes. That's right. Young people can get together and influence each other just like that. That's true. Rob the next door neighbor house. That's right. And then beat up the woman in the house, and that woman used to babysit them. That's wow. true. Wow. Same woman that used to babysit them. Amen. Amen. Beat her up. Beat her up. And she looking at you. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Shut up, you bee. That's true. And yet she changed your diaper, babysit you while your yeah. mother was out struggling working. That's yeah. Right. Brother, God ain't joking when he said you reap what you sow. That's right. You will come along in your youth and get a girl pregnant. Yeah. And then God will give the devil permission to take your child, take your child. do the same thing. That's right. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's right. Glory That's right. to God. The term in the street is what goes around, come around. Comes around. God term is reap what you, you will sow. reap what you sow. What you sow. Hear this warning, viewers, and also you that are here. Hear this. Ah, sinful nation. Ah, sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. Loaded with sin. A seed of evildoers. And what? Children that are corruptors. And? They have forsaken the Lord. And? They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Yes! I'd rather have you angry with me. Yeah. That's right. People angry with me literally don't mean nothing to me. That's right. Who? Nobody. Nobody. His anger make me lose sleep. Oh, yes. That's right. Because his punishment is unpredictable. That's right. It can come in many forms, in many ways, and through anybody he chooses. That's true. That's true. Do you hear? They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. How bad are they? They are gone away backward. Men want to get their body changed and women. Backward. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Your name's Steve, and now you want to go backward and be changed to Stefana. Oh, yeah, backward. Stephana. Your name is Dan, but now you want it to be Danielle. Mm. What? Amen. Backward. What is it? They are gone away backward. Men now want to arch their eyebrows. That's right. Wear lipstick. Put powder. Powder puff. Powder puff. Put their wife's powder on their face. That's right. Men now with wearing a man bun. What? 
When I came up in the hood, there wasn't no man wearing no bangs, no straight man. That's right. That's right. There was no straight man with bobby pins in his hair when I came up in the hood. No. Anytime you saw a man with a bobby pin, he was digging in his ear. That's right. See, we didn't use Q-tips. We used bobby pins. That's right. Make you close one eye. Feel, feels good too, boy. <laughs> eh? That's right. What? They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Society, Society is backward now. Oh, yeah. They criticize me because I teach the women to put clothes on. That's right. Amen. Amen. They say I'm male chauvinistic, I'm the devil, and I'm a cult leader because we teach the women to be modest. Be modest. Don't be out here advertising your legs and all that stuff. That's Don't right. be coming to church with see-through clothing. That's right. That's right. Preach it, man. Don't be showing your cleavage. Ain't nobody need to know where your breasts start or end. That's right. That's right. That's right. When sisters sitting and there's men around, don't ever sit with your legs crossed. That's right. Sit with both feet on the floor or down floor, cross your ankle. Right. But never one thigh over the other. No, no way. You make some men holler like Logan. <laughs> Get me. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's the truth of it. That's the truth of it. Same way we're brothers. Learn to sit with your legs closed. That's right. Don't ever have your legs spread open east and the west. Right. right. That's right. Close your legs. Close yes. them up. It looks indecent. That's Regardless right. Regardless of where you are in public, sit with your legs closed like a gentleman. That's right. It's good teaching, man. It really is. Wonderful. Holiness come to reconstruct your whole life. Wonderful, man. wonderful. You see some women sitting one leg east, one leg west. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Hear this. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have provoked the Lord God to anger. They are gone away backward. 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 Come on. Gov all the governments of the earth, they backward. Oh, okay. yes. Backward. They don't care nothing about the poor. All no. they looking at is the rich to make the rich richer. That's it. And they don't care of the poverty that anyone is in. That's right. Not at all. That's right. The politicians will go to a poverty-stricken place for a photo op. That's true. Just to give out bottles of water. <laughs> That's right. Yep. That's and then it. don't do nothing else. You will never see them with another bottle of water giving it to nobody. That's true. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Go holding babies. I don't want you to hold my baby. That's no. Right. Amen. If any of my children wants babies, I don't want no politician to hold them. <laughs> In the hands of a liar. That's right. That's right. Hear this. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Creation. Yeah. God anger. God's anger. It's kindled. Oh, yeah. Sure. God proves to you you don't own nothing. Look at all the houses and property he's burning down in California. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. And then after the fire, what do he do? He sent rain from heaven. <laughs> That's right. Mud slide, wash your whole mansion away. Amen. You just going downstream in your waterbed. <laughs> That's right. Having a house party in a sinkhole farm right up under your mansion. Right up under, That's right. Swallow you up. That's right. You and all your crack is in the darkness. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You don't own nothing. You better hear this message, you oh, hard-head, yes. arrogant, self-righteous, rebellious thing. That's right. You better hear this message. That's right. You can be mad at me till you have a stroke and on the respirator. Amen. But while you're on that respirator, you better repent of your sins, of your sins. and get ready to be baptized in water or else die on the yeah. respirator and go to hell from the respirator. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What have God said what? They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. And what? They have gone away backward. They have gone away backward. Why should you be stricken any more? Why would you want God to keep doing this to you? That's ye right. will revolt more and more. 
That's something. That's right. How plain is this? Ye will right. revolt more and more. More and more. You can tell people, more in my more. experience, I have told people over and over what the word of God said, and they have gotten more and more rebellious, yeah. more and more angry. Yeah. That's right. All because I'm telling them what the Bible said. That's right. Fool. That's right. That's right. Tell you what the word of God said for your protection. For your protection. Okay. And your salvation. Yeah. That's true. And get angry more and more and more. Do you he hear the Bible talking? He will revolt more they and more. They revolt more, more and more. And more. The whole head is sick. What's wrong with them? The whole head is sick. What's the matter with them? The whole head is sick. Mine is all messed up. Mine. And what else? And the whole heart faint. The heart is all unstable. Unstable. Hallelujah. Boy, nobody knows us like God. That's right. I tell you, God, this is the x-ray right here. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's you, see, right. you can put someone on the x-ray machine and show some internal organs, but one thing the x-ray never can pull up is how you think and how you feel. And how you right. feel. Hear this. Ye will revolt more and more. Are you revoking more and more? More and more. Ask yourself. That's are right. you revolting? Are you rebelling against God more and more? More and more. Are you becoming more and more angry? Yeah. When you hear the word of God brought to you? Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. I believe in the Old Testament, there was a certain way they felt about the prophets. Uh -huh. They said his way yeah. is too straight, it's too straight for us. For us. That's right. That's what they say about me. You too hard. No, you're not. Men and women say it. You too no. hard. That's right. You're going to thank God for this hardness if it that keep you out of hell. Yeah. That's right. Second Kings chapter six and at verse one. Give chapter verse in Second Kings. Second Kings chapter six and verse one. Here. And the sons of the prophets. The said, sons of the prophets of the messengers said unto Elisha. They said to Elijah. Behold, now the place where we dwell with the, thee. The place where we dwell with you is too straight for us. Too hard. That's too the way the preachers feel about me. <laughs> I ain't right. fellowship with no pastor Jennings. You're too straight. Too straight. All right. Yeah, some folk left the truth of God. Fellas, though, I was too strict. That's I right. wouldn't even turn my back. That's right. If my sons or daughters disown me as they father because I'm too straight, I ain't moving. Not moving. Not moving. If my wife was to pack every bag and withdraw every dime because mm. I'm too straight, I ain't moving. That's right. If my mother, who's about, how old is mama now? 91 or 92 or 93, which is it? 91, if she wait till she get nine years from 100, <laughs> then all of a sudden telling me, I'll birth you. If you don't change, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. I'm getting out of here. That's right. I'm going to tell her, all right, mama, you go ahead. Yes, you will. I ain't moving. That's right. I That's am right. not budging. No! Call me too hard. Call me too straight. Wonderful. Man. Notice they never say the world is getting more wicked. No. no. It's just when you stand up for what's right, you too straight. You too straight. You too straight. That's right. You too forward. Yeah. No, you too wrong. That's right. Yes! Too wrong. Too weak. Too weak. Too weak. Amen. As several folk log on and say, you see that? Every time that man preached, he preached with anger and frustration. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm very loving it. Very loving. That's right. I'm a loving fella. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I didn't love the people. I wouldn't be traveling all around the world. That's right. Thousands are being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I mean thousands. That's right. Nice. Here no. now, I got to go to Macedonia. Hmm. Souls hold the word of God there. We sent one of the ministers to Macedonia and baptized souls in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I got to go to Macedonia. They asked us to come to Greece. Hmm. Got to go to Macedonia. Have to go to Greece. My Lord. Letters of Paul, hallelujah, coming in out of Jerusalem. Wonderful. Want to go down and water in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
This is the Lord's doing. The Lord's doing. That's right. God Almighty thoroughly prepared me for this job. Yes, he did. Wonderful. I am not worthy to be in the position God put me in, but there's not a demon or devil out of hell or on earth that's going to take me out of it. That's right. Nobody coming in that will take me out of it, and nobody on the outside is going to take me out of it. That's right. Wonderful. When I say nobody. Nobody. Charge, I mean nobody. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. That's right. Devil have tried everything. Yeah. Tried to, tried to discredit my name all over social media about 13, 14, 15 years ago. Yeah. Send some letter out to some false prophet in Atlanta. Yeah. Put all these scandals and try to take my name. I ain't return my back. I ain't paid no mind. Pay no mind. Didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. When you know what you're doing is right, you ain't worried about liars. No. You get these old weak, weak, foolish people. All them people saying the same thing. If everybody's saying it, everybody can't be wrong. How stupid are you? Look at the many millions say there's three persons in the Godhead. Right. All of them are wrong. All of them are wrong. That's right. That's right. The ignorant thinking of people have because a lot of folks say something, everybody can't be wrong. You's a fool. That's a fool. They won't say that if they were said about them, though. No. Oh, no. Right. That's right. Throw me in the fire. I can take the heat and take it well. That's right. Because the form of the fourth one that's in there with us is like the Son of God. Yeah. The Son of God. That's right. Oh, yeah. Are you listening, Kev? Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The form of the fourth one that's with us. It's like the Son of God. I don't worry about not getting support from people. No, no you don't. If I get it, fine. If I don't, fine. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. That's my attitude. That's your attitude. Because I have the backing of heaven. Go ahead. I had it before I met him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The backing of heaven I already had. I That's had right. it before I met my wife. Yeah. Hallelujah. Had it long. Hallelujah. Had it long before I met her. Hallelujah. Had the backing of heaven. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. When you got the back of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you got the back of heaven, you got everybody beat. That's right. Kev, I got the back of heaven yet. Nice Hallelujah. Nice. I don't say he boasting again. Call it what you want. I'm giving my testimony. Wonderful. That's it. Nice. I had the back of heaven. That's it. Before I got married, before my wife had one child. <laughs> Have the backing of heaven. Hallelujah. And I have it. You have it. That's right. You have it. Amen. That's true. That's wonderful, brother. One reason why I won't change. That's right. If you look for me to change, forget it. Oh, no. Before that happened, rain got to go upward. <laughs> Do you listen to what I'm telling? I don't think we'll see rain going rain in that direction. Rain will have to Pastor. go upward. I, I don't think we're going to see that, Pastor. Oh no! I can't begin to tell you the consolation. That's wonderful, man. That I get in my lowest point. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, "Oh, I never saw Pastor Jennings in his lowest point." No, you didn't know you was looking at it. Yeah. That's all. That's all that was. Yeah. You just didn't know you was looking at it. Yeah. Because I learned that the Bible said God is my refuge, is my and that's refuge. who I hide under. That's right. He's, he's the fixer. Oh, yes. That's right. Amen. That's right. Over to God, I say God is the fixer. That's right. That's it. And I'm a witness Amen. of him being the fixer. Hallelujah. At my lowest point. Uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One time I guess go sit quiet. Talk to God. Hallelujah. Used to be a song I used to hear as a kid. Have a little talk with Jesus. That's okay. good. Tell him all your problems. I don't know the rest. <laughs> Them old folk, they know it though. Have a little talk with Jesus by and by. by, and by. <laughs> That's right. 
Well, by and by, I, I have a talk with him. Yes, you do. Get away from everybody. Hallelujah. Everybody. everybody. Sometimes you're at your lowest point. And, have, and I have been there many a time. Hallelujah. I don't talk to nobody about it but God. Mm. What good is me talking to somebody about it? Ain't nothing they can do about it. That's true. All they can do is look at you. That's true. There's just some things not a human can do. That's right. You have to go above the human family and talk to heaven. That's right. Hallelujah. You know, everybody have to know their limitations. Hallelujah. And if someone tell you their limitations, who are you to say, oh, you can do something? Just shut your mouth. That's shut right. your mouth. That's right. If, 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 if I know I can't do something, I don't mind telling Brother William, look, I can't do it. I don't need for him to go tell me, look, man, you can do it. I know my limitations. That's right. I know what I can do and That's what right. I can't do. That's right. And I also know what I won't do. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Wonderful, man. Wonderful. Few more verses quickly. Back in Isaiah chapter 1, we're at verse 5. Why should you be stricken anymore? Why would you want God to keep punishing you? You will revolt more and more. And here you are more and more hard-headed. The whole head is sick. What? The whole head is sick. Look at here. Amen. The whole Amen. head is all messed up. And, and the whole, and heart, the whole faint. heart faint. From the sole of the foot. Look, at, look how messed up you are. From the sole of the foot. From the sole, the sole foot. of your feet. Yeah. Even unto the head. Even unto the head. There is no soundness in it. You're unstable. Unstable. Yeah. I didn't have none of this in mind. Amen. That's why I told him, just give me anything. That's right. But this is God given. This is God given. For all of you to examine yourselves by. That's right. Look at yourself. That's it. How important is God to you? Yeah. That's right. Many of you are afraid to lose things. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, Hallelujah. some of you are going to lose husbands, wives, jobs, children, all because, all because. of your stand in God. That's right. Some have already experienced it. Some have already experienced it. Oh, yeah. And some of you are going to experience it. That's right. And you know what? Some of you are going to lose. You know why some of you are going to lose? Because that man and that woman got too much of you. That's right. They got more of you than God has. Anytime a man or a woman or money or job possess you more than God. More than God. That's right. That's your God. That's yeah. right. Because the Lord said, thou shalt have no other God before me. That's true. That's right. I, the Lord, thy God, is a jealous oh, God. Yeah. Jealous God. And hey, these fools got more than one God. And his God is jealous. You think he's going to tolerate you having two more? <laughs> That's right. As jealous God is, you think he's going to tolerate you having two more two besides more. him? That's Amen. Right. He spoke plain in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20 and at verse 5. That's what? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Yeah. Thou shalt not bow down thyself, thyself to them. them. To them. Nor serve them. Nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy for God. I, the Lord thy God. Am a jealous God. Yeah. And here you infidels, you jealous. church infidels. Yeah. Got three, two more with the one God. Two yeah. with the one. Holy Ghost is his partner. <laughs> That's right. You're infidel. That's You're an unbeliever. Yeah. He's too jealous to have partners. That's right. He's God alone. That's right. Oh, yeah. None with him, none beside none him. Beside him. None greater than him, none equal to him. That's right. And that's the way he better be in your life. That's right. He better be like that Amen. in your life. Oh, yes. yes. If not, you're going to lose everything. That's oh, true. Yes. Acts 2 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Hear this. Amen. You send us out of here. This is the yeah. best place you can be. Oh, That's yes. Right. Come out of your man-made religion. Man started these religions, Methodism, 
Baptists and yeah. non-denominational and Pentecostal and Catholics and Lutherans and Christian scientists and Scientology and Mormon and Muslim and all of that stuff that come from the pits of hell. Yeah. That's right. First thing first, you ought to know what God is. What God is. And let's see what God is and what God told us to be in the book of Leviticus. In Leviticus chapter 19 and we're at verse 1. Says what? Leviticus 19 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. The Lord spake to Moses, saying. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And what? And say unto them, ye shall be holy. No, ye shall be Lutheran. Ye shall be holy. Baptist. Holy. Catholic. Holy. Pentecostal. Holy. Apostolic. Holy. Non-denominational. Holy. Come on back to the Bible. You can get mad as you want. You may as well save that anger for something else. That's right. Use that energy to eat some lemon meringue pie with. That's right. Lord, that God being mad with me ain't going to change not one chapter in one verse. No, it won't. You're going to come over here and do what the Bible said do or be ushered in a burning lake of fire. That's right. If you think you're too cute or think you're too handsome, you will find out. You'll find out. When you be in hell screaming and hollering and burning yeah. and you got to stay there as long as God remain God That's right. and everything that you was told that you reject while you was living, you living? God going to bring it to your mind and you won't be able to be forgiven for it mm. That's right what did he say? Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Said what? And say unto them ye shall be holy ye shall be holy be holy for I, the Lord, I your God, the Lord your God, am holy. God wants you to repent. Repent. Yes. And I want you to repent. Be oh, sorry. Yeah. Come out of your churches that you're in. That's right. Now there's thousands of you watching this program, came to many places where you heard the word of God preach, got baptized, and you went right back out there in the street. Yeah. Went back out there. Or yeah. went right back in that false religion. That's right. Like you're just like a pig. Hmm get washed and then you go right back there in mud that, rooting all that, in the mud. That's right. You still will go to hell and burn throughout eternity. That's true. I don't believe there's no hell, Pastor Jenner. That's your business. That's your business. If you don't believe there's eternal fire, why you believe it's natural fire? That's right. I remember years ago, I pulled that on a Jehovah Witness. He came to my mother's house <laughs> trying to convince me there's no hell. So I went back in the kitchen and turned the stove on yeah. and grabbed his hand. I wasn't going to put it in the fire, but I act like I was. Very aggressive. He pulling that way, I'm pulling this way. Give me your hand, Vic. Stop, stop, Gina, what you doing? Stop. I said, give me your hand. You don't believe there's no fire? Stop playing, stop playing. And when I let it go, he walked, went, walked back looking. <laughs> I said, ah, you ain't a fool. That's not a fool. Yeah, if there's no eternal hell, why are you scared of this fire? That's right. Nice. That's right. He said God is too merciful. 